I grew up in a very religious family and that meant that we often went to church three times on a Sunday and up to four or five times in a week. I went to high school and during my high school years I began to question things. For some reason I just couldn't accept things. A lot of things didn't make sense and I wanted answers. What happens when we die? What is this life all about? What's the meaning of life? Why am I here? Where am I going? Who am I? I remember one day I was sitting outside my house. I was living in a small sandstone house in a small town in the Orange Free State. And because I had severe financial difficulties, I watched as the sheriff of the court was carrying out my last furniture. And I actually thought to myself, what's the meaning of all this? Shouldn't I just make an end to it all? I looked up and I saw the pear tree in full blossom. In that moment, it struck me that the pear tree is just a pear tree. It's just being itself. I looked up and I saw a man coming down the street. He came to the gate and looked me in the eye and said, I had a dream last night. A dream that you needed some financial help. I sold one of my cattle this morning and here's the money for it. I couldn't believe that this was actually possible. I took the money and I started my own business and for many years I was involved in antiques. And I learned a lot of great life lessons working with old stuff. One day at one of these auctions, I went up to one of the older guys there, an antique dealer, and I said to him, no man, what's happening here? Look at your table, it's old and it's a lot of, lots of marks on it. It's not even properly restored. Look at my table, it's all new, it's all shiny. He said to me, the true value of a true antique piece is not in stripping away the age, stripping away all the marks and all the dust. It's about polishing everything into this table. All these years actually adds to its value. It was only later, when I came to the end of my career in antiques, that I realized it's the same with us. And that's what I'm doing every day now when I help people. It's not about taking everything or anything away which has happened to you during your childhood, pains and whatever happened to you. It's about embracing all those things. Because in the end, embracing these things, accepting them, working through them and processing all these childhood stuff which happens to you all of us, some more than others. It's this which gives you the, your shine. And once you've embraced these things and processed these things and really worked through it, you get a shine from the inside, from the soul. A shine which nobody can ever take away from you. I help people today in many ways. I help them with coaching, and the techniques I use is mainly neuro-linguistic programming. So neuro-linguistic programming just asked one question, how do you do your problem? And over the years, a lot of techniques were developed. And those techniques are techniques which we use today to reprogram some of these structures in your neurology and reprogram old maps. And I see my work as helping people to realize the map is not working for me anymore. And our unconscious minds are imprinted and programmed in only two ways, by repetition and by strong emotional events. Strong emotional events which happened to you or things that you have seen. And because children up to the age of seven or eight are highly, highly imprintable, these are the most important years in a child's life. The brain and the chemicals in the brain is just a manifestation of an energy behind that. And by the time the chemicals are formed, it's just the last manifestation. That the force or the energy driving the manifestation is most often coming from emotions at an energy level long before the chemical manifestation. 
And that's where I believe the actual work life lies in all therapy and even coaching is in the energy and the emotions which drive and which manifest the chemicals in the brain. And once you've changed that, the chemical imbalance can often be restored. And the body can do what the body knows to do. And I teach people and I help people to connect sensations to their bodies. Whatever they thinking, somewhere in their bodies have a sensation, whether it's in the heart, in the stomach, in the legs. And that sensation which someone is feeling is chemicals. The body is constantly and continually just eavesdropping on every thought you have. And whatever thought you have, it will just obey, making happy chemicals or making fearful chemicals. Working in the unconscious, go to where the problem really is. And because most of our mind is unconscious, the unconscious mind runs all of our 67 trillion cells at any time. The unconscious mind takes in two to four million bits of information every second of the day. So what I like about neuro-linguistic programming is that it can bring a lot of change in a short, in a very short time. It helps people to get out of their conscious mind and make contact with the unconscious mind. The unconscious mind is often the doorway to your spirit, but it requires you to go inside yourself, to find that again and to remember who you really are. And ever you think you are, you're always more. You are so powerful. You are powerful beyond what you ever can ever imagine. If you focus on what you want, you'll get more of that. The matrix of the universe is feelings, emotions. When you can truly see what you want and you can feel that feeling inside the body, the actual sensation, how you'd be when you are healthy, and you can feel that emotion and now you open the doorway for creating that in your life. And you can reprogram your genes and the DNA of your cells by changing beliefs. The body obeys your thoughts.